RI プレゼンツ Was that Wajin who helped Yukakima? I thought he was tall, but even in the group, he was taller and stood out. As we were heading to them, Dad arrived earlier and greeted the man in the lead with a smile. Maybe they know each other. When they saw that their father had arrived first, they slowed down and headed towards them, looking at the group behind them. All the men had swords at their waists, and further behind them were men with spears. At first glance, they looked like the military. We got very close to them, we saw an unexpected person standing beside the man in the lead. Beside the man was a woman, standing close to him. When I saw the woman, the prediction I had been thinking about began to change slightly. Maybe that guy is a representative person and the group behind him is his bodyguard. In modern times, the sight of going to diplomacy with his wife is quite normal, and those injured people said that it was to talk to Yasso and others. If so, their conflict may subside without escalating too much. This is wishful thinking. After we arrived, they were still talking about something, but we were a little far apart, so I couldn't understand anything other than that they were talking Japanese. that woman. I can't see it well from here, but I think it's normal for wives to greet each other. When the discussion was over, Dad turned to Mom and explained something, but his expression was soft and gave me the impression that it was a friendly visit. After listening to Dad's explanation, Mom went to the women who had gathered around her and explained something to them. Then all 
the women smiled, and after they had some kind of meeting, they all dispersed in all directions. Later, I heard that they were on their way to Yasso, and their purpose was to solve problems. However, the rain delayed his arrival, so he asked for a night's rest. That night their welcome party was held in the square in front of the observation tower, and they served the drinks they had brought with them to everyone, and the adults were very excited. The next day, when Tokupchup and her mother went to the front of the observation tower for their daily routine, we were stunned to find many men who had fallen asleep drunk. Drugs are the same in every era. Tokupchup and her mother seemed to think the same thing, and they looked at each other and smiled wryly. After finishing their daily routine, they did not eat with their families alone, but carried a lot of food to the square and ate with the visitors. I was able to see the woman I saw yesterday up close at mealtime. Her appearance was not inferior to the beautiful ornaments of her arms and hair, and she looked like a real princess. Tokupchup also seemed interested in the woman and looked at her from time to time. After all girls want to be princesses. When they finished their meal, they prepared to leave, and then headed for the village of Yasso. After they left, I asked Tokupchup to ask her parents about them. Her parents' answer was exactly what I had expected. The big man's name was Susa, and the name of the woman who was close to him was Kushinata. of the story will be updated tomorrow. Please look forward to If you like please subscribe to the channel. See you again.